He goes by Grandmaster Jay, and he led his self-proclaimed black militia group to Louisville. Tonight, John Johnson is in the Oldham County Jail. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us on The Night Team. I'm Doug Prophet. Johnson brought the NFAC to Louisville twice at the height of the protest over Breonna Taylor's death. As The Night Team's Jesse Cohen reports, he's facing federal charges, accused of pointing an assault weapon at police back in September. Arrested at his home in Ohio, NFAC leader John Johnson, known as Grandmaster Jay, is now in the Oldham County Jail on federal charges. Court documents provide these two photos from September, the day before the derby at Jefferson Square Park. Police say it shows Johnson holding an assault rifle pointed towards law enforcement officers on the roof above him. <laughs> All right, boom, we're live. So yeah, this is a different lecture today. Um, this is actually gonna be covering a, a current event subject. Um, this is about Grandmaster J, not to be confused with Grandmaster Flash or Jazzy J or you know anybody that uses those words, Grandmaster or J. But you know, if you do the keyword search on Grandmaster J's name, you know Grandmaster Flash is gonna pop up, Jazzy J is gonna pop in and shows where they've performed together. But Grandmaster J, and not to be confused with Run DMC's Jam Master J, is uh, this is a lecture on him today. So uh, Grandmaster J, uh, for those who remember from 2013, um, I'm gonna flip around. Grandmaster J, let me flip this uh, thing right here. Yeah, so this is Grandmaster J. All right, so anybody that remembers from 2013, he was the uh, spokesperson for this kind of beams device. And, uh, in a, and in the turntablist community, he got called out for, you know, faking the funk. He was uh, acting like he was doing a bunch of uh, DJing and scratching when, in fact, uh, it was totally fake. And, um, I mean, people, you know, he was just using an old Jazzy Jeff, uh, DJ Jazzy Jeff set and trying to act like he was doing it. So he was fake DJing. Now, this controller, this product that he was promoting, you know, everybody disses this, but I actually think it's a cool product. You know, I, I'm, you know, I have all different types of uh, synthesizers and, you know, some of them are stuff from, uh, you know, Toys R Us and some of them are from Guitar Center or Sam Ash. So I have... You know, I'm not biased towards any type of controller. I think all kind of controllers are cool. So I think this is actually a cool controller, but he did get caught, you know, faking the funk. And now what's in politics today is that, you know, back in the day, you know, 2013, if you searched his name or if you searched his name before today, I mean, before uh, this year, before 2020, you basically would have just found out about him being exposed by the DJ community for fake DJing. And I'm going to show the fake DJing. But in the past week, he just got arrested on federal charges for pointing a gun at a federal agent. Very, very serious crime. And even Tariq Nasheed has uh, suggested that he, you know, he himself might be some type of agent. You know, and I've talked before about, you know, like Russian intervention in hip hop or, you know, d different things like that. You know, because uh, Grandmaster Jay kind of just came out of the blue. And, uh, you know, nobody had ever heard of him. And the Beams uh, software team was like, hey, this guy's, you know, legend. And they're calling him a legend in their press releases and all that type of stuff. So I'm going to flip back around. So, yeah, this is him. This is Grandmaster Jay, right? And uh, so he just came out of the blue in 2013. Nobody had ever heard of this cat. And they came out saying, like, oh, yeah, he's a legend, this, that, this, that. And, uh, oh, yo, sh shout out Zaire. Um, yeah, so they're saying that he's a legend. Um, so in, in the past couple of days, what happened is, um, or in the past week, he just got arrested. And uh, so we're going to look at that. So this is what happened if you do an inter uh, a, a Google search on Grandmaster J Beams. This is what it, he it used to look like before, um, before the past week and all this uh, militia stuff, right? And uh, what he did was, we're going to flip over, and I'm going to... Go to another Google image search. If you just type Grandmaster J now, this is him now. And look, you see him with the guns and, you know, so he's a, a leader of a, of a black militia, right? And, uh, you know, he actually pointed a gun at uh, right here in this scene right here. You can see he's pointing, 
he pointed a gun at uh, during a march. He, I guess there must have been some type of federal agent that was on a building or something or on some type of uh, balcony. But he, yeah, he pointed his gun at the guy. So he just got arrested. And this is an interesting article. So Jazz, you're saying I'm out to lunch, but this is uh, from Tariq Nasheed. I, I'm not saying that that uh, this guy is an agent or some type of agent. And I'm not saying he's an agent from here. I'm saying, you know, he could be an agent from any country. He could be, you know, uh, anybody that, that uh, is trying to, you know, get black Americans to, uh, you know, burn down their cities and stuff like that. Because we know that both, um, we know that the Russian uh, media and, you know, given the elections and all that type of stuff, the, the Russian, uh, not Russian media, I'm sorry, the Russian uh, government was actually, you know, puppeteering a lot of Facebook ads and creating black groups and creating different black things. So all that stuff's real jazz. It's not out to lunch. Very, very real stuff. Tonight, new evidence suggests Russian efforts to meddle in American society stretch beyond elections. Documents seen exclusively by NBC News appear to show another bizarre campaign to sow unrest in the U.S. No, Russian operatives last year pitched a plot to manipulate African Americans. One especially disturbing proposal suggests recruiting African Americans with criminal records, giving them sabotage training at camps in Africa, and returning them to the U.S. Another proposal? Encouraging African Americans to push for independent statehood in the South. It does not surprise me at all the extent to which Russia would go to undermine our democracy and really target divisions that already exist within our country. The documents were found in communications between Russians linked to Yevgeny Prigozhin, a catering magnate dubbed Putin's chef, indicted by Robert Mueller for trying to sway the 2016 election. While NBC News cannot independently verify the documents, they were uncovered by an investigative Russian opposition group called the Dossier Center, which, in the past, has revealed authentic material to us. Our adversary is coming at us. We should expect it to happen now leading up to the 2020 election, and these documents indicate we're going to see it on steroids. You know, the Russian government has had a heavy, heavy hand in... Uh, uh, manipulating black uh, conscious circles and things like that, or even just black music, you know, all different types of stuff. And we don't know how far the extent has gone. All we know about is the election stuff. We don't know about hip hop in general. We don't know if Putin's giving DJ Vlad money. We don't know if, you know, if all the, the industrial gangster rap prison to pipeline uh, complex is, is uh, connected with that as well. So we don't know all that stuff, but we do know this that uh, this guy, Grandmaster J, right here, just came out of the blue in 2013 and got caught out. And so we're gonna show what he did first. So, you know, this is TTM Academy and you know, this is a, a turntablist and uh, hip hop science uh, institution. So we're gonna actually go to that. So let me show what, uh, this is my homie, uh, DJ Cutting Candy. Uh, DJ Cutting Candy, she said in 2015, she said, Out this fake poser DJ wannabe, Grandmaster J, already blocked me, and all I could do was laugh. <laughs> LMAO, right? And so, yeah, so people came for him all, all you know, like, and I'm going to show the video clip right now. So let me see. I think this is the clip. So we're going to show the clip. Whoops. I might have to edit some of this out if it, if the, uh, there we go. So this is him fake DJing. So this is all, that's all stolen. So, so you can see, you know, he got, what, 79 likes, 794 dislikes. I'm gonna read some of the comments. Um, you know, I guess they're talking about a lot of new stuff. So yeah, oh my God, that Jazzy Je that's Jazzy Jeff's mix, Thief. You know, so everybody called him out back in the day and he got kind of, uh, 
uh, you know, he came out of the blue. He was never part of the DJ world. And then he just came out of the blue and they were saying he's a legend out of the blue. And then, you know, the whole DJ, when he did this fake routine, the whole DJ community just, you know, came down to him and he disappeared from the, from, you know, the, the music world. And then he reappeared as a black militia person. He reappeared as like a Black Lives Matter, black militia person, you know, years later, right? Because all this stuff was in 2013, right? Oh, oh, so Mark, the discussion, this is about uh, this guy, you know, uh, Grandmaster Jay. Um, you know, he's the guy that got called out for, for, you know, faking the funk and the whole Beams thing, this thing that I was just playing. And, uh, you know, I'm going to play a little bit more. <laughs> But he just got arrested this week. In the past week, he just got arrested for pointing a gun at a at a federal agent. Um, he's like a, a he's a he's a militia guy, and he pointed a gun at a federal agent, so he's in in jail now. And uh, yeah, so we're just going to talk about that and show just you know what that is, and show you know like the whole background and the Beams uh, controversy. So this is a software called Beams software and a device. It's actually kind of a cool device. Um, when you load your own samples in it and stuff like that, and you can manipulate them using uh, laser beams, uh, when you break the stream of the laser, it uh, triggers. It's, it's got like a couple of different lasers that you can trigger. So it's actually kind of a cool MIDI device. And uh, so I'm going to play a little bit more of this. It's just him faking the funk. Right. So so that was a famous, you know, Grandmaster, I mean, a DJ Jazzy Jeff routine that he just uh, stole. Right. And I'm going to show you what the Beam software is. Hey, guys, it's Cody here with Beams. And I'm going to show you guys something a little different. Here we've got the interactive laser controller and our proprietary Beams player software. Now, this is comprised of hundreds of instruments that you can play by simply touching one of the lasers. Now we've compiled with our own compositions that are in here for anybody to play, but even you studio rats can jump right in and add your own stem files and samples to this and get your family, friends, or your fans to play your music. So check this out. Right, so this is actually kind of a cool device. I think this is actually a cool device. I saw it at Gar Guitar Center once. And uh, and I didn't. It was on sale for I forget, I forgot how much it was, but I should have bought one. You know, it was on sale for like nothing. But next time I see one at like a garage sale or something, I'm gonna I'm gonna get one because that's that's it's kind of a cool controller. But uh, so I'm gonna flip it back around. Um, let's see. You can change banks right here. So now we got a different set. So people are dissing this because it's like air scratching, it's kind of like fake tweaking, you know. But it's real, it actually, you can actually, uh, oh, the video's blank? That's weird. But it's what's interesting is you can actually, you know, trigger stuff with this. I'm gonna go back here, and. So you can cycle through from 12 different instruments in every song. And this is enabled so anybody can come in and make great sense. Right? So, yeah. So, that's basically it. All right. So, that's like this device. And he was using that device to uh, the, the Beams team. I think they came out like 2010. But in 2013, they had him as their spokesperson. Right? So, he just came out of the blue. And everybody was like, who is this Grandmaster J? Right? The legendary Grandmaster J. You know, they're like, legend. But he never released a mixtape. He never released nothing. He just came out of the blue. And so, yeah. People, you know, totally came down on this company. Uh, rightly so, and jazz to what you're saying. Uh, yeah, I, I'm. I'm not against. Uh, uh, let, let me. Let me to be clear. I'm not against. Uh, you know, um, open carry or concealed carry or you know or the right to bear arms. You know, I'm not a gun owner. You know, I just deal with ram sets and stuff like that. But uh, you know, I'm. I'm not against you know gun owning and, and things like that. You know. So, you know, I believe in people's right to march, you know, and stuff like that, march with guns. But but he was, you know, just like Kyle Rittenhouse, you know, was wilding it and got out of the line, you know. You know, there's no reason for, there was no reason for him to put the, have the gun shooting, uh, pointing up at a, at other, at whoever, you know what I'm saying? So if you're marching, you're going to be marching, you know, there's no need. So, so I'm going to flip over to uh, Tariq Nasheed. 
Tariq Nasheed has suggested, uh, let's see, so, so it says, Tariq Nasheed says, NFAC leader, Grandmaster J is suspect and, and possibly an agent. So uh, this is July 23rd, 2020. So he was saying this a long time ago before he got arrested because he just got arrested recently in the past you know, week. Uh, so maybe past couple of days. So it's, uh, July 23rd, Tariq Nasheed goes on Instagram Live to voice his concerns and suspicions about the NFAC black militia leader known as Grandmaster J. Because it's like, how did he go from you know, being this obscure fake DJ that the whole DJ community destroyed and uh, to being like the head of a, of a huge black militia. And you got to remember, too, that Tariq Nasheed, you know, is a filmmaker who released the uh, the Hidden Color series. Uh, you know, um, I haven't actually seen this series because um, I, mean, I pretty much know all, all the stuff that's in those things, but I've seen bits and pieces of it. And, uh, you know, so he's a, you know, very uh, positive uh, lecturer and, and filmmaker that's been, you know, spreading a lot of awareness of, of uh, colonialism history in the black community. And he's actually banned from uh, showing his video in the UK. The last time he tried to go to the UK, they, they banned him from going to the UK and they banned him from showing his newest video, his newest film in the UK. And this was before uh, COVID, you know, before the travel bans, they banned him from showing the new Hidden Colors. But that's a whole nother story. But let's see what he's, he's got to say about this. So in an over two hour long Instagram live stream, Tariq Nasheed explains that he thinks black people should be suspicious of Grandmaster J, leader of the NFAC, which I agree. I mean, I was suspicious of him in 2013 when he was a fake DJ. Right. All right. And then uh, so let me so let's go down to here. Tariq, uh, Tariq claims that Grandmaster J misrepresented his experience and accolades as a DJ, which is true. Right. We all are the DJs. We know that he also shows a video that appears to be uh, uh, appears to be recent showing Grandmaster J talking about all lives matter. Right. So he's just kind of all over, you know, saying all lives matter. But then he's then he's marching as the head of the black of a black of a of a black militia. The most emphasized claim was that Grandmaster J and the NFAC are essentially actors that show up with guns to take pictures rather than to start start an, um, an insurrection. Uh, another part to add, Tariq also showed a video clip of Grandmaster J mentioning the Boogaloo Boys, a racist white supremacist organization reaching out, wanting to show support at the next rally in Louisville, right? And one thing we do know for a fact is that the culture of America is against the masculine uh, black male, da 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 So yeah, that's, that's just basically that. Um, Tariq was just calling him out and saying that, like, yeah, maybe this guy is an agent. And, you know, when we say an agent, you know, it could be, you know, for all we know, you know, Putin hit him with uh, 50,000 bucks, you know. But, uh, all right, so yeah, so this is like, this is him now, right? This was him before. This was like, you know, before uh, this year, this is him, you know, everybody knew him as the biggest fake DJ of all time. He's he's kind of known for being like, you know, the, the, the fake air scratching, fake, fake battle DJ. And now he's, you know, he just became this like militia head, you know, <laughs> Black Panther uh, dude that's talking all lives matter. But then he's also, you know, marching with black as a leader of a black militia out of the blue. So people are like, what's what's going on? All right. And I remember I mentioned Putin and look what just came up. Jazz. Right. I don't, I don't even know what this link's about. But uh, let's see. So, yeah, this is him being arrested. Look, this is real. This is Russia. Russia today. You know, I try not to go to uh, RT because I remember when Syria happened, they're like, the police have everything under control, right? They're totally lying about <laughs> Syria. It's like, yo, people are, you know, Syria's in, in, literally in a war and they're just saying the police have everything under control, like there's no war. So, you know, RT to me is a kind of a, a you know, a very, very biased source, even though, the, you know, uh, the media is biased in general, but RT is very biased. So, but let's see what, so leader of the black only NFAC militia, Grandmaster J arrested and faces 20 years in prison on federal charges. So all the DJs are laughing. All right, now, so I'm gonna read some of this. So John, Fitz, John Fitzgerald Johnson, that's his name, better known as Grandmaster J, was arrested and charged with pointing a rifle at, a federal, at federal agents in Louisville, Kentucky, police during a protest which could land him in prison for 20 years. 
right? Because it's like, yeah, marching is fine, but there's no reason to be pointing up, pointing a gun up in the sky like he was doing. I'm mean, not not just in the sky. See, this is different. This is pointing a gun in the sky. What he was actually doing was this. Um, he was actually pointing at a at a specific uh, right here. This is him right here. This is him pointing. Not he wasn't just marching and pointing the gun in the sky. He was actually pointing at a specific uh, person. You know, like maybe there was somebody in a roof, like a sniper or, you know, like a federal sniper or some type of, you know, like they got the snipers at the Super Bowl game. But, yeah, you can't point a gun at them. Right. Uh, so, yeah, so that's so he got arrested. So let me get back to this. So he was arrested and charged with pointing rifle at a federal agent. Da, da, da. Uh, Johnson was arrested on Thursday and booked into a Louisville jail on federal charges. NBC affiliate Wave TV reported. Independent journalist for Fisher posted photos, right? So this is a 20 year felony, right? So this is, this is, he gets, he's getting a 20 year felony for all this, right? And, and it was interesting is that, you know, Tariq Nasheed was calling him an agent before that. So black member of black only NFSC militia reportedly shoots himself by mistake at Louisville rally. All right. So there must be another article, but let me see. So, uh, though heavily armed, the NFAC has not actually committed any acts of violence during the protest it was involved with. On one occasion at the end of the July, a member of the group accidentally shot himself and two colleagues with his own rifle at a Louisville protest. The group showed up in Lafayette, Louisiana in September and marched to Chance of Black Power to protest against police shooting of, of Trey Ford and an African-American man killed the month before. One person was arrested by, for accidentally discharging a firearm during the protest, but the NFAC, the NFAC told reporters that the person was not part of their organization. So yeah, that person could have been a plant. This guy could have been a plant, you know. All right, Facebook just cut me off, but uh, I'm back and I'm gonna um, continue where I was. Uh, so yeah, so we're just gonna, it's gonna be just another couple of minutes. And yeah, so I'm gonna look through this article. Um, so it says uh, John Johnson, aka Grandmaster J. Um, right, this is him. Uh, got arrested, right? And uh, so I'm gonna play this. This news. Guess who ranks at the top when searching online for Louisville home or auto insurance? Family select insurance. I want to hear this. Let me skip through this commercial. But yeah, so let's skip through this commercial, right? I don't think they're letting me skip through it, so I'm gonna have to wait. You know, there we go. So the commercial's about to end. So the news story's about to The NFAC, a black militia group that made its presence known in Louisville this summer, is now facing a federal charges. WDRB's Hayden Rostevsky explains what he's accused of doing here that landed him behind bars. Hayden? Alan, this man might look familiar to you. He's known as Grandmaster J, the leader of the NFAC militia group, but his real name is John Fitzgerald Johnson. Johnson and his group marched in Louisville twice this summer amid protests over the police killing of Rihanna Taylor. The militia was last here on... So for people that are just coming in now, this guy, this is the same guy that is that got caught out for doing a fake DJ set and uh, stealing J uh, Jazzy Jeff's routine. Shout out to Mark. What's up? But yeah, so, so if everybody's just coming, this is uh, Grandmaster Jay that's just, he's being, you know, he might get 20 years for pointing a gun at a federal agent. So, right, they just had it. It was just, it was totally fake. All that was fake because that Jazzy Jeff did that, you know. And uh, so, you can load samples of the, in that machine and, and trigger stuff. So, let's go back to where we were. All right, so, oops, that's funny. Uh, let's see, let me close some of these. All right, and then this cat did a response. Nobody the Vitalist, uh, uh, my homie Eric Kubik sent me this. Uh, nobody, I didn't even know about this diss of Grandmaster J. I'm gonna play it. Whoops, let me go back. And the thing that's messed about up about Grandmaster J is that he just gave himself the title of Grandmaster, right? And then uh, and and J being you know there's Jazzy J, there's Grandmaster Flash, there's Jam Master J, and when you type J Grandmaster J on any type of search, you know a lot of these other DJs are going to come up, and uh, you know so it's just kind of you know like a whole keyword search kind of generation um, manipulation, because um, you know for I remember when. Uh, when Diplo first came out, 
you know, I remember there being an association with the diplomats because now Diplo is bigger than the diplomats. But when Diplo first came out, he wasn't the diplomats were way bigger than Diplo. And, you know, um, so there's a lot of, you know, theft that's going on these days with keywords and names and, and things like that, you know. But, uh, yeah, so, so let, me, let me play this, this diss to Grandmaster J from 2014. Shout out to Nobody the Violence. All right, Facebook keeps cutting me off, but uh, I'm live again. I'm gonna I'll add all these up together and, and create the actual video uh, later today, and then release it. But uh, so I'm gonna press play again. So this is a guy, Cat Nobody the Violence, dissing Grandmaster J in 2014. <laughs> Chirp flares. Right, so you had Grandmaster J is fake, right? He's a fake DJ. So we we got that. Now let me go back to this news story. Where was this news story? Um, let me go back to here. Every weekend, demonstrating outside of Churchill Downs, but Johnson's charges stem from the night before the Kentucky Derby. The FBI says these photos show Johnson pointing his AR platform rifle at several police officers on the roof of a building. Those officers were from the FBI, the U.S. Secret Service, and LMPD. This happened near Jefferson Square Park. Law enforcement officers were stationed on rooftops downtown most nights of the protests. Johnson is now facing a charge of assaulting, resisting, or impeding officers. The maximum sentence is up to 20 years in federal prison. Johnson is currently being held at the Oldham County Jail. And in a news release, U.S. Attorney Russell Coleman said Kentucky <laughs> reveres First and Second Amendment freedoms, not foolishness. Which was by All right, so, yeah, so that was that. So that's, that's basically it. Right. So, yeah, that's basically it. So Grandmaster. So for those who didn't know the story, Grandmaster J uh, is, you know, a totally fake DJ that totally came out of the blue. And then he reinvented himself and totally came out of the blue as a militia person. And then his militia was the first black militia in the country that actually fired shots at a uh, at a protest. But it was accidental. Right. You know, and then and then he pointed a gun at a federal agent which is definitely a no-no, and so he's getting 20 years. So all of us DJs are like, bye, bye, Grandmaster J, bye. So, so that's, that's uh, let, me, let me see if I have anything else loaded up on here uh, in all these tabs. I got all, all this stuff. Uh, let me see. So we did the Tariq Nasheed thing. Um, but, the, you know, the Beams thing is actually pretty cool. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get one of these in the future. You know, people diss Beams, but, you know, uh, you know, it's cool. You know, I got a lot of different types of MIDI controllers. But Taylor's death. And if this actually has a MIDI Jesse output, Cohen then that's kind of ill. I'm not sure if it has a MIDI output or not. Because I don't see it on this thing. But maybe it does, I guess, you know. But, uh, yeah. Let me see. But, yeah. So, that's it. All right. So, peace, everybody. All right. <laughs> and I'm going to string all these together. All right. Peace, y'all. With rights comes responsibilities. And it's pretty obvious that um, that was an irresponsible action on his part. Dave Mitchler, the press secretary with the FOP, says federal investigations are more deliberate, so he's not surprised by the three-month timeline. The FOP is satisfied that the federal government is bringing those charges. The local advocate and pastor Tim Finley says the timing is not just. To use this and to make this move three months later speaks of the flawed ridiculous, racist, unfair policing structure in this city. Grandmaster J is a national figure. So this once again makes Louisville look like the, the hot spot of racism. I interviewed Johnson the day after those photos were taken, Derby Day. He had pulled his crew back from Churchill Downs after running into protesters. Protesters aren't organized. Protesters are emotional. That is dangerous and a bunch of innocent people could get killed. But regardless of those feelings, Finley says these charges are shameful. So while there may have been some 
ruffled feathers here and there. We were all wanting justice for Breonna Taylor. In their first protest rally in July, Johnson said they would burn down the city. And all y'all thought we were going to show up with torches and burn the joint down. That was figurative. It meant that we would burn down something. And we burned down the wallets. Grandmaster Jay is still in custody and has a detention and a preliminary hearing tomorrow at 2 p.m. For the 19th, I'm Jesse Cohen. <laughs>